Brent with Rockford Boats. This is my father, who also helps build these custom women jet boats. Rockproof Boats started in August of 2001. Rockproof Boats started a two-car garage. Over the years, Rockproof Boats has grown to our current 6,000 square foot facility from that two-car garage we started in in August of 2001. It currently takes a team of 12 skilled workers from painters to metal fabricators to build the custom boat that you design. River Rocket. Designed, custom built, designed around the inboard Optimax 200 sport jet. This custom designed tunnel hull gives this boat unbelievable performance that you could only experience in a test ride. Most rockproof boats are sprayed with polyurethane lining. It gives additional grip and makes it super easy to clean the boat. All rockproof boats are custom built. You can select your own colors. Uh, even different colors in the spray that you want in, in the interior, spraying on handles. There's also an option to have carpet installed. Custom in, in design grab rail. Your front navigational lights are mounted on the top corners of the console. External gas tank fill cap. Stick around for the production video. Hi, I'm Brent with Rockproof Boats. Our boats are custom built using a unique combination of materials. One of the unique materials that we use is a, is a one-piece tempered aluminum bottom. Our bottoms are crafted out of a one-piece 190 thousandths tempered aluminum. As you can see on our right is a piece of 190 thousandths and on our left is a piece of 125 gauge. Not only does each boat have a one-piece tempered aluminum bottom, they, they also have a one-piece Tempered aluminum, 125 gauge sides. Once, uh, once the bottom's completed in the boat, we then install a quarter inch channel, as you can see uh, in my hands. The quarter inch channel is then welded continually on the bottom of the boat, all the way from the bow to the stern. All water that enters in and out of our custom boats travels through aluminum piping instead of plastic through-haul fittings. The infrastructure inside the boat is primarily uh, built on top of inch and a half uh, square tubing that runs all the way from, from uh, side to side. Having this inch and a half tubing welded from side to side and all the strength that it uh, provides reduces all the need for all these down supports which would add a lot of additional weight to the boat. A 25 gallon built-in fuel tank our decking material is 125 gauge aluminum that is structurally sound and has no movement whatsoever of oil, oil canning that you see on most mass produced hulls. Not only did this customer design their boat with two live wells, he's also getting two rod boxes. The one rod box on the right hand side will actually be able to accommodate 12 foot fly rods. This rod box runs completely up under the front deck. Custom rod box. With foam rod holder inserts with inside the rod box. Not only can you put rods on the side of the boat in the foam inserts, but also lay them on the floor of the rod box. Here's our custom live well. Our custom live well is 15 inches wide, 40 inches long. This live well has no plastic fittings as you can see. All the fittings are made out of aluminum tubing. The custom boat is fitted with a, a panel that has your nav lights, live well, freshwater live well, that has an auto timer as well as the aerator with an auto timer, blower, bilge, an extra switch for any accessories. Also has a, a safety stop lanyard. RPM, volt, and fuel gauge, all in one panel. This panel has all breaker switches that you reset instead of fuse panel. Another one of the small little details that we put into our custom boats is a console tray. 
console tray is great when you go to uh, take off in your boat. You can take your hat off, put it on the tray, put your wallet, your keys, any essential items you have in your pockets on this tray. Here's a custom hatch with a uh, liner that basically drops right in the decking. Provides ample storage for all your fish and tackle. Each aluminum hatch is then installed using T-rivets. The custom boat is constructed of a one-piece, 190 thousandths tempered aluminum bottom with quarter-inch channel welded in from bow to stern. And the essential part of the process is installing to make these boats rock-proof and give you the ability to literally slide over rocks, a material called UHMW. UHMW, ultra high molecular weight, is actually a plastic, it's basically very similar to the cutting board that you have in your kitchen. This material is very phenomenal for what we use it for in this application. This UHMW plastic is very self lubricating. It up will absorb energy created from impacts. Once that boat were to hit something under the, under the water, the energy would be dispersed across the boat bottom, not to one location. The UHMW is installed through a 23 step process using stainless steel fasteners approximately over 10 inches and our special adhesive that gives 2,000 pounds of holding pressure per square inch. Installing the UHMW on the bottom of the boat, when we install it we leave a little bit of a seam on the modified V part. That seam on the modified on the very front of the boat where the modified V is, is then plastic welded to give it additional strength. One of, the, one of the keys to the success of the River Rocket is its performance. What you can see here is the motor box. The motor will actually sit on this box. This box is quarter inch aluminum. The whole key to the performance is geared around the tunnel that actually forces water into the inboard jet pump system. Through the propulsion process, a jet needs to suck water in to get its performance. This tunnel actually eliminates that step in the process and forces, forces water to that intake. The engine in the River Rocket model is an Optimax 200 horsepower sport jet. Inboard sport jet 200 Optimax Mercury weighs just 367 pounds. This motor and pump system is rated at 180 horsepower at the pump and can at optimal RPMs this pump system can produce 55 gallons of water a second. Having the inboard sport jet inside the boat gives it a low center of gravity actually helping the boat to, to drift shallower because the weight's inside of the boat supported by the bottom versus hanging off the transom. Every motor is installed with a wet muffler system that these motors will only ever get warm to the touch. This particular River Rocket model at 30 mile an hour cruise can achieve 6 miles per gallon. This picture here gives you the ability to actually see the tunnel without the pump system in it. On this particular finished boat, you can see we have welded on reverse gate extensions. Reverse gate extensions literally give you the ability to back up in the water and also stop the boat in the water if, you, if necessary. The steering system, this jet pump system, is actually achieved by turning this nozzle versus an outboard, you'd have to turn the whole entire engine that's hanging on the transom.